Tethering your camera. I said I would mention about this or how to do this in one of my videos. So I'm going to reveal the secret of the tethering of the camera. That way you can take pictures uh, in Lightroom if you wanted to and or see the changes that occur real time. Okay, the secret is this little amazing piece of software called For so Fort Build. That's the name of the software. So, so Fort Build. You probably already found it because in the videos I always have this this thing pop up and you're like, what's the name of that right there? And that yeah, So Fort Build. It's actually German, I believe. So if you type that in Google, uh you will come up to this amazing website. It's not build with a U either. It's build. And it's the first one. So for build, there it is. Big area, big download, easy to use. Okay, now, easy to set up, a little bit different. Okay, let's say uh, so for build. First off, it works like this. It exports into a directory. Okay, so let's set that up under preferences pick an area on your hard drive and that's how you do it is save capture here I already set that up so I don't want to mess around with it in here it's going to put an extension after it imported capture pictures into none launch applica application if not running and let's see I think that's all that's it right there that you don't have to do much of anything else this way. But in Lightroom, you have to set it up so there is an auto import feature and it has auto. Let me go back to the library. And what I did is if you look at so for built dump, this is the exact same folder the exact same folder as it is in um, my other area over here under so for built okay under the preferences I have that as so for built dump and then over here I have so for built dump now I also because it puts the originals in so for built dump I put a subfolder name out there called auto imported photos this is actually where it's going to get moved two okay and let me show you how that works so hit OK and then turn on the enable okay that should allow it so you can go in here and hit the camera button okay me I took my camera downstairs to recharge but that is exactly how I've been doing it inside the video this setup here on my desktop you can see so far built dump it's got auto import photo photos and here is all the pictures that's been dumping into it it will import the NEF and JPEG if you choose to do NEF JPEGs I just did that to kind of show you the difference between 16-bit and 8-bit a long time ago but you notice in Lightroom it only imports the NEF okay and that's just the way it is that's how it works all right, so that is the secret of tethering your Nikon camera. Now, keep in mind, Nikon comes with this software packet, and it, it's kind of cheap. I hate how Nikon does this. It, it's uh, an amazing piece of software, and it's only good for a little bit, and it's $199, and there you go. It's $199. If you got a Canon, however, it's free. So Nikon, great camera, awesome camera. Gypsy on the software, so haha -ha, Nikon. There's an amazing program called SoFort Built, so shove your stupid capturing software. And I'm going to go with SoFort Built because it works amazingly. And have fun with that. That is now how to tether a camera. Enjoy. USB tethering. Um, this is an add-on to the video I just made because there's one extra option you have to turn on to all Nikon cameras. Uh, when you have Canons, it's a different story altogether. Good luck with that. This is the section of the manual that 
specifically says about a Nikon D80. And in here, it basically says, if I can ever get it to, there we go. It has to be in PTP mode, which allows you to take that camera of yours and hook a USB, a small micro USB to it, and then hook it to a USB in the back of your computer. And that is how you bridge the connection between computer and camera. So get yourself a very long USB cord and you can take amazing shots from anywhere in the room. Uh, go back to your computer, go ahead and click the, the one button in so forth build and away you go. So make sure you change this USB setting on the actual Nikon camera to that setting or it will not function. Okay, again, Canon's not sure which how that works. I have a Canon Mark 5D. Um, it does not work with so forth build for some reason. Okay, so that's what I got. And enjoy.